Welcome back to our next episode of the Body 101 series. Today we're going to be addressing the shoulder joint again, uh, but we're going to be talking about something that is sometimes ignored uh, when it comes to when people have shoulder pain, and that's the scapula or the shoulder blade and the thoracic spine. Really my goal today is to talk about one simple but very important idea. And that is that any motion that happens in your shoulder where you're reaching up over your head is not just your shoulder joint, but it's a combination of that and the movement of your scapula or your shoulder blade and then the orientation of your thoracic spine. So anytime you're reaching up over your head to put something in the cupboards, anytime you're throwing a baseball, uh, anytime you're shooting a basketball, whatever it might be, uh, the, the motion of your arm coming up over your head is going to involve more than just what's happening with your rotator cuff with your deltoid muscle. It's also going to include muscles that are primarily located in your back. Uh, and so that includes your middle trap, your lower trap, then a muscle called the serratus anterior. Uh, and so anytime that your arm comes past 30 degrees, it's no longer just your shoulder moving, so this is about 30, it's no longer just your shoulder moving, but it's going to involve the rotation of your shoulder blade that sits on your back. So what we make sure that we do here at Point Forward Physical Therapy is that if someone comes in with shoulder pain, we're going to be looking at what is the strength and what is the movement of your shoulder blade as you're moving, because that's going to have huge implications for what's going on with your shoulder and what could be contributing to your shoulder pain. The other thing that uh, really plays into shoulder pain is the position of your thoracic spine, which is the middle part of your back. So if you have a rounded posture, you're standing here, your ability to reach up overhead is pretty limited. And even if I were to stand up, the furthest I can reach is about this far. But once I, once I stand up straight, I'm able to get that arm all the way overhead. So what we make sure that we do is we assess your uh, scapular strength and your scapular mobility. We look at your thoracic spine and make sure that that's going well. And then we also make sure that we address your rotator cuff and the glenohumeral joint as well. So your shoulder, your shoulder blade, and your spine, all those things would be assessed and they need to be assessed if you want to make sure that you get pain-free and back to doing all the sport or uh, daily activities that you need to be doing.